Hey, 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 Capricorn, what's going on? This is Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your weekly general love reading. Okay, we're starting the month of June, but certainly this is a timeless love reading, so it can resonate at any point in time. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what is going on with you and your person, whoever you're dealing with at this current time? It could be someone that you're dating in a relationship with, a situationship with. Or someone who's just all up in your energy, okay? Like an ex, a past lover. We're going to find out. So this is a general love reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. I do weekly love readings for each zodiac sign. So if this one doesn't resonate, you're bound to find one that does. Okay, so please do check out my other videos. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button. I appreciate your love and support, guys. I really do. I'm going to use the Morgan Greer, okay, tarot for the main spread, and I have the tarot Illuminati to clarify, okay? I also have information about these decks in the description box, along with my contact information. If you want a personal reading, I have a special promotion going on till June 15th. Reach out to me if you want a personal reading, okay? The turnaround time is the next day, if not the same day. How great is that? Okay, Capricorn, let's find out. This moon kept trying to come out. I don't know what is going on in this pre-shuffling. Are there some kind of secret that someone's keeping from you or you're keeping from somebody else? I don't know. You could be dealing with a Pisces or water. All right, Capricorn, let's dive in deep. Capricorn and their person. The current mutual energy between you guys, right now in the current moment, we have the Knight of Rods, Knight of Wands in reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. This is someone who is stalling, okay? They're not moving, okay? There's a, there's a current hold possibly on this relationship. No one is taking action. There's a lack of forward movement, okay? Because someone is just lackluster or just not putting in any effort, Okay? You could be dealing with the fire sign. There's passion here, you know, certainly there's passion, but someone isn't taking action, okay? So the challenge is the six of cups in reverse, okay? So how do we get past the past, you know? The challenge is getting over some kind of really difficult memories that you guys have experienced together here with the six of cups in reverse. This is nostalgia. Someone is focusing on everything that went wrong in the past, okay? Months ago, years ago, you know, a long time ago. This is like bad memories that keeps recircling back and over and over in someone's head. So the challenge is how do we let go of this past or these bad memories so that we can move forward, okay? The, the recent past energy is a two of swords in reverse, okay? So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could have been dealing with a, an air sign or just someone who was stuck. They, they couldn't see a way moving forward. They were... Very logical. They were stuck in their head, feeling trapped. But then they found a way, okay? So someone may have made a decision here in the recent past. It could be you or your person, but something here, it may have caused some kind of standstill. It may, whatever decision that was about, it may have been done blindfolded. It may have been done without all the information, okay? And whatever it happened, it caused things to stop moving here in this connection, okay? Now, what's on your mind right now, Capricorn, we have is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So you're thinking about this person maybe coming back, reemerging in your life, okay? You may be dealing with someone, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone who you blocked, who you put distance between. And now you're thinking of them wanting to come back from out of the cold. They may be feeling neglected or abandoned, okay, by you. Feeling really at a loss, wanting your comfort. I mean, look at look at this particular uh, illustration here, okay? Someone that you may have cut off, maybe that was the decision to put things on hold or go separate ways after, you know, a really, really arduous, difficult past history you guys have spent with each other or there's something here about past memories. It's just not, they're not too fond, okay? Yeah, but Five of Pentacles in verse, definitely trying to get out of the cold, trying to... Get back, get your attention, be in your presence here. In the foundation, what do we have? The emperor in reverse. So something's out of control. There's a lack of forward direction. No one is taking charge, okay? You could be dealing with an Aries, 
But right now, I feel like the fact that the emperor's in reverse, you just may be feeling like things are chaotic between you two and there's a lack of forward movement because no one, no one is stepping up to the plate and doing something about it. No one is being the dominant person. No one is being a leader, taking charge, right? So coming into the moment, what do we have? The Ace of Cups in reverse. So yeah, something just dies. You guys have love for each other. There's potential for something beautiful. You know, you guys have a strong emotional bond. A lot of great, you know, um, a really strong, strong love, you know, that's, you know, you guys once made each other happy, but this is now unrequited love. There's no beginning in love. There's no forward movement. You guys are not coming into some kind of union. There's some kind of breakup here, okay? Now, how do you view yourself right now, Capricorn? Yeah, nine of swords tied up, okay? Stressed, frustrated, stuck, trapped, feeling helpless, like you can't do anything about it. So you're watching this relationship, this beautiful relationship, go down a drain because no one is taking action, right? I mean, it has the potential to be something great and really bringing you happiness, fulfillment, abundance in your life. But you guys are at a distance and no one and nothing is being done, okay? Someone is just rethinking and stuck in the past. They can't move forward. They're not taking action. And someone made a decision to possibly go another way. If there was any decision made, it was to just do nothing, right? But yeah, right now, there's just a lack of control. What What is the energy your partner's bringing? Yeah, stuck, hangman, Pisces energy, stagnancy, a lot of stagnant energy here. You're feeling trapped. They're just hanging, doing nothing, waiting for things to happen, waiting for you to make a move. Meanwhile, you're waiting for them to make a move and take charge of the situation. So it's just like not moving at all. So in your emotions and feelings, Capricorn, yeah, the five of swords, accepting it as a defeat, a loss. It's like a lose-lose situation, right? You also could just be feeling... Um, you know, it could be some kind of deception here or a sabotage, but I feel like this is just something that you guys are just, just giving up. Okay. You're just giving up on now. What's the outcome? What do we have for the outcome? Yeah. The King of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of stability here, lack of growth. You guys are deciding not to nurture this, um, connection anymore. Okay. You guys may not see this as worth an investment. No one is doing anything about it. No one is stepping up to the plate. Okay, and that's why there's no stability. There's, you know, no, no time, energy, and effort is being put into this. So it's just going to what? Die, right? Something so beautiful. The bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, you could be dealing with an air sign or someone who is just cutting something out. Someone who's about truth. They may be communicating here to you. This person is standing in their power. What it is they want. They're communicating clear, honest communication with you okay so let's get to clarifying what that's all about capricorn let's start with that queen of swords this also could just be an energy of you guys cutting this out okay you know not accepting anything less not accepting any lies any deception cutting out any bs whatever that doesn't like whatever doesn't resonate with you you're just cutting it out with your sword you're like i ain't dealing with this queen of swords why is this queen of swords here please yeah the death in reverse. So you're you just I think there's some kind of ending here. And now we have, you know, transformation. We have a new beginning. Possibly even a resurrection here after cutting something out. Why is it death? Ace of Pentacles in reverse, but you're not but it's not a commitment. It's like someone is not taking the offer or whatever is re being resurrected, it's not bringing stability. Okay, it also could just be um, a Scorpio that you're dealing with. You may be cutting a Scorpio out because they weren't bringing to you any stability or commitment here, okay? One air sign. Let's get in the middle of the spread. So the Knight of Wands in reverse, no taking action, stalling, stagnant energy, okay? A lack of forward movement because of no effort by either one of you. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Queen of Cups in reverse, so you have someone who's just withholding their love. They're not trusting of the other person. They don't want to nurture this. They're not their loving, compassionate self. 
you could certainly be dealing with a water sign. What do we need to know about this Queen of Cups? Ten of Cups. You may have had a happy home or a happy relationship at one point with this Queen of Cups. Okay, someone that you um, have a long-standing loving relationship with. Okay, it doesn't have to be marriage. But something is being stopped in the tracks, okay? You guys could have been on the road to marriage here, certainly with the Queen of Cups, or it could be, um, yeah, definitely a water sign. If not, a fire sign, something is, is not going, moving forward, okay? It's just a lot of stagnant energy. What do we need to know about this Ten of Cups? This person once made you happy, though. But I'm getting someone being resistant or stubborn here. Yeah, five of swords. And someone may have cut the other person out, took advantage of them, deceived them, manipulated them, okay? The moon, we have, yeah, secrets. It could have been some secrets or a result of some kind of fears and anxiety someone had, maybe your partner, and they may have crossed you and did something, and now you're just like withholding your love, if that's your energy, Capricorn. If not, you're dealing with someone who, who had some kind of, some deception or some kind of um, games or trickery here. They may have lied to you or kept something here from you with the moon. Something was hidden from you and now you're cutting it out. And, you, you know, this person also could be wanting to come back and make it up to you. Why is the Six of Cups reversed? But you're not having it because the challenge is to be able to let go of whatever this past hurt is, okay, or this disappointment regarding this person is to kind of let it go. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. It's a decision that you have to make. Do you let this go so that you guys can have a beginning, so you guys can have some kind of union? Okay, because you guys are soulmates. There's a strong, strong bond here. But someone is letting the past destroy this relationship or holding on so tightly to the past that they can't live in the moment and they can't move forward. And it's requiring a lot of strength. They're feeling like they're lacking strength, they're lacking confidence that things are going to turn around, that things are going to get better. And they're just accepting a defeat. So two of swords in reverse. This is um, making a head of a hard decision about this connection, right? You may have been stuck. You may have been trapped, blindfolded. Maybe I felt you didn't have all the information. Certainly you probably didn't with the moon. Some deception or some secrets here are being kept from you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with that two of swords. Why is this two of swords energy here? Five of wands. Yeah, there's some kind of challenge you're dealing with with this person. Struggles, conflict, arguments. Back and forth, fighting, competition. And that's why you decided maybe to get, you know, with that two of swords, there's something you made a decision about. Could have been with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. But there's something that you cut out, right? There's something you cut the hell out. Because we have an ending. We have the death and we have a new beginning as well. The emperor. So you took charge. You, you stood up for yourself. If you felt like you were taking advantage of or this person was just... Coming to you with all this drama, you're like, uh-uh, I'm not dealing with this, okay? And you put an end to it with the Emperor card. You certainly could be dealing with um, someone who is a father of your child here. You may have cut them out, or there may have been so, so much drama involving them, okay? That you made a decision on how to move forward. So now, you know, you have the Five of Pentacles, what's on your mind. You see them as possibly returning, or maybe you want to do some kind of returning, getting out of the cold, feeling a lack, okay? Yeah, eight of cups in verse. Someone wants to come back. Whoever you're dealing with, guys, it could be you or your person. The the roles can be switched into change. But someone left, someone feels at, stuck out of the cold and they feel left out. They're wanting to come on back, okay? They're not happy about the situation they're in and they're wanting to make a U-turn. They're wanting to give this another turn. Yeah, the wheel. The wheel is here. So there's going to be some positive forward movement regarding this connection and it's regarding you putting an end to the situation or your partner okay and to this connection deciding that you weren't weren't going to putting more effort into it someone walked away someone feels now left out in the cold and now they're making a u-turn they're wanting to come back possibly even wanting a resurrection because damn we have the death in reverse right resurrection or reconciliation but someone may even cut that out in the foundation, we have the emperor in reverse. So a lack of control, a lack of decision-making, forward movement here. Yeah, because someone was holding on too tightly and now it's just letting go. I think that it's too late. Okay, I think that whatever happened, someone may take may have been taking their slow time. And a four pentacles, they're just deciding to let it go entirely. They're not fighting for this. They're no longer passionate about it. 
okay? Six of Swords in reverse. So this also is like someone having a difficult time. Again, letting go of some kind of conflict. With that Six of Cups in reverse, there's a lot of bad memories. You guys went through a very painful past with this person. It was very difficult. And it's hard to just let it go. How do you just drop all this, right? How do you just drop it and move forward with your life or move forward with this, with this person? It doesn't happen that easy. In fact, you know, that's why the Ace of Cups is in reverse. I'm required to love. Someone's turning their back on this connection. Okay, it's, it's a no to a new beginning because someone is on guard. Someone doesn't trust the other person. Someone is stuck in the past. We're playing all the, the bad things and all the, the horrible things that were said. And we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, a lack of coming together, collaboration and and partnership and workmanship. Someone is just not wanting to cooperate, not wanting to build. Okay, and you're the one who's feeling stuck. Yep, Ace of Cups in reverse, unrequited, more... Yeah, someone is just leaving this situation. There's love here. I think this unconditional love, certainly if you were married to this person, you have long-standing history. Same with the Six of Cups is indicating that you guys passed soulmate or, you know, be an ex again. But someone is going to be single. Nine of Pentacles. They're saying no to love. Not Ace of Pentacles came out in reverse twice, okay? So unrequited love. Just moving away from this connection that was once strong, very loving, very fulfilling. And you're stuck. You're confused. You may feel trapped, but you're deciding to just let it go. I think that you're you're deciding to be single. The Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. That's your energy right there. You're deciding to be single, work on yourself, manifest, be abundant. Because you're tired of being trapped. You're tired of being stuck in your head. It certainly could be your partner as well, right? Because your partner's in this hangman energy with the judgment in reverse. So they're stuck. They're, they're trying to make a decision. They don't know what to do. They're trying to gain another perspective on this. And they want to revisit something. The judgment is in reverse. So the death is in reverse. Someone, Your partner wants a damn reconciliation. Your partner wants to come on back and give this another go. But you're turning your back. I think that you're just done. You've given up. You're accepting it for what it is. You can't release the past or something here that's still bothering you. And they left a bad taste in your mouth. The lies, the deception. Yeah, you're going to leave them out in the cold. And that's why we have the Five of Swords. Accepting it as a defeat, a lose-lose situation here. Why is the Five of Swords here? Just not wanting to, to do this anymore. Not wanting to keep going through this battle or this journey with this person it's been too difficult it's like let's put the, let's put it to an end yeah the ace of swords in reverse someone was just lying to you was very dishonest they withheld communication again they may have had secrets and, and just stuff they were hiding from you deception delusions and you're just cutting it the out okay ace of swords in reverse they were definitely lying i mean you guys are definitely blocked as well and that's why the outcome is the king of pentacles in reverse so again you can have been married to this person it could be a, a divorce here and we have the queen of pentacles so yeah that's your energy right there capricorn okay so take it out resonates there's a a, a a patch i mean a pair a match <laughs> A match, okay? Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, right? But the King of Pentacles, Queen, King of Pentacles is in reverse. So, you guys are a match. You guys are very strong. You guys are probably once married, okay? May even have kids with each other. This was once very stable, very secure, abundant, okay? Very strong, grounded energy, but it's unrequited because the Ace of Cups came out in reverse twice. You guys are not going to be able to come together, at least not right now. A lot of stubborn energy. You guys are like bumping heads as well. Okay, but someone is walking away and I think it's the queen of pentacles. She's coming up on top and I feel like the, the king of pentacles, that's the one who's um trying to get out of cold possibly because they're in the reverse. They're a little bit angry, a little bit disturbed and um, unstable here. But again, you're going to be single and mingling. You're going to be happy and secure working on your uh, your abundance. Okay, your investments. So yeah, that's what I have. Unfortunately, I don't feel like you guys are coming together just yet, at least not right now, but that is the story. So Capricorn, let me know if this resonates. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and come back for another reading next week, guys. All right, bye-bye.